Hi, and welcome to FreshMind.com. My name is Eric, and in this video we are going to create a table lamp scene. We're going to do some modeling, some texturing, some UV mapping, and we're actually going to add some lights to the scene as well. So let's go ahead and start out by setting up our project. I'm going to go to the File menu, down to Project, over to New. Let's name this project Table Lamp. And I'm going to browse and put this right on my desktop. As far as these subfolders go, I'm just going to use the default name. So I'm going to click on this button down here at the bottom. It says Use Defaults. Click Accept. Now if we look at my desktop, we'll see that Maya created a folder called Table Lamp, which is the name of our project. Here's our subfolders with all the default names that we told Maya to give them. All right, I downloaded some textures because we're going to actually texture our model. So let's look at these. I've got a picture of my son when he was a baby. We're going to use that to create like a little picture on top of our uh, nightstand or end table, whatever you want to call it. I've got a checkerboard pattern. You can do a Google search for checkerboard pattern and find all kinds of different styles that you can download and use. We're going to use this when we do our UV mapping just so we can see if there's any stretching in our textures. This right here is kind of hard to see, but kind of zoom in a little bit. This is going to be the texture that we're going to use for the lamp shade. Um, if you do a Google search for textile textures, you should, you'll should you probably come across this and it's from a site called ArchidBase.com. We've got a couple of wood textures here that you can download from CGTextures.com. It's in their uh, wood section. And as far as the wall, we're going to have a wall in our scene, and we're just going to use a bump map on that one. So no texture needed for it. I'm going to open up our project folder and this subfolder called Source Images. I'm going to open that up, and I'm going to take all of these files, these pictures, and put them right inside that folder. Because when we're working inside of Maya, the first place Maya is going to look anytime it looks for pictures is in this Source Images subfolder. Okay, before we start modeling and everything, let's go ahead and set these textures up. When we work with textures inside of Maya, Maya really likes to have square textures. And if we import this file right here into Maya, Maya is going to stretch this out to make a square. So let's just go ahead and do that now. I'm going to right click and just edit this with GIMP. This is going to be our texture for our table, our end table, nightstand. So let's go to, okay, there's two ways I can make this square. I can either stretch it, make a square, or I can just crop it. In this case, I think I'm going to stretch it. It might come out okay. So I'm going to go to Image, down to Canvas Size. I'm going to make our canvas size square to start off with. Let's say 1024 by 1024. And now I'm going to just click Resize. Okay, now our canvas is square, but our texture is not square yet. So let's go to, over here in the left, there is a kind of a scale tool. I'm just going to click it, click on our image. Down here I'm going to type in 1024 whoops, by 1024 scale. Alright, now we have a square texture, file, and actually I'm going to make this darker. Let's go to colors, brightness, contrast, Do that again, make a little bit more darker. I want this kind of a nice dark top. So maybe something about like that. Click OK. All right, File, Save As. And I'm going to put this, OK, it's in the same file folder. And I'm going to name this Table Texture JPG for JPEG. Save. Export, which will flatten it out. Save. All right, so let's close this out. All right, now we have a nice square texture to use for our tabletop. Okay, let's do the next one. This right here is going to be, let me edit this with GIMP. This is going to be the texture for the lamp post. Do the same thing. I'm going to start out by going to image, down to canvas size. Let me unlock that so I can type in 1024 by 1024. And then let's go to our scale tool and actually scale our image. You can see by stretching it out, the texture still looks okay. Okay, let's do the same thing. I'm going to darken this up. So colors, brightness. 
I'll take a little bit of the saturation out. I think I'll make it a little bit darker still. All right. File, save as. Let's call this one lamp post texture.jpg. You can name it however you want to. Okay, we're all set up. The only one we're not going to make square is this picture because we don't want to stretch that out. It's just, I mean, we don't, it just wouldn't look right. So let's go back into Maya and let's start creating the geometry for our scene. Let's start out by creating our tabletop. So I'm just going to create a polygon cube. Let's smooth shade that. I'm just going to scale it up a little bit. I don't need this grid, so I'm going to turn the grid off. Let's just shape this like a tabletop, like a nightstand or Maybe a table. This right here is going to be a table that's up against a wall. So let's go ahead and give it a name over here in your channel box. I'm just going to click up there and type in tabletop. Let's create some legs for it. Something about like that. Let's go into our side view so we can line this up a little better. Maybe a top view. Let's give it a name. It's going to be table leg. All right, I'm going to duplicate it, so Control D. Let's move this over, Control D, and I'm not trying to be perfect or anything. I'm just sticking them in the corners. There's our table. I'm going to select everything, go up to my Polygon menu set, and let's just add a bevel to these edges so it looks a little bit better. I'm going to be using simple geometry for this tutorial, so I'm going to leave it up to you to create some really awesome-looking lamp and awesome-looking table and so forth. All right, Edit Mesh, Bevel. Options, Edit, Reset Settings. Everything is just default value. Bevel. All right, I'm gonna zoom in here so I can see our bevel. Over the channel box in the input nodes, there's a poly bevel that we just did. I'm gonna click on it to expand it, look for the offset value, and start changing this to say, we'll start at 0.1. Actually, 0.1 looks good, so we'll leave it at that. Let's work on our lampshade. So I'm gonna create a polygon cylinder. Let's lift that up. I want it bigger than a table. I'm in a channel box. Let's change the subdivisions axis to 12. And the caps, I'm just going to do 0. Just so I can select the top and bottom faces and delete those a little bit easier. All right. Let's lift this up. So back to object mode. I'm going to take these top vertices. I'm going to scale those in. And just start shaping this to look more like a lamp, a lampshade. All right, that works pretty good. Maybe a little bit big at the top. Actually, I like that. That's probably all right there. Let's see. Not bad for a lamp shade. Let's raise it up a little bit. All right, shift, right click, insert edge loop tool. Just make sure you're in object mode when you do that. Otherwise, you won't see that menu that just popped up. All right, I'm gonna put an uh, edge loop down here at the bottom, one up here at the top, and then I'm gonna put two more in the middle, kind of evenly spaced out. So maybe one there and one there. Back to object mode, edit mesh, make sure you keep faces together, it's turned on. And let's do an extrude, options box, edit, reset settings, everything's default, and extrude. I'm going to look for the blue arrow, pull in the direction of the blue arrow just a little bit, just to give our lampshade some thickness. Go back to object mode. Now if I hit the number 3 on my keyboard and do a smooth preview, we've got a nice, very simple, generic looking lampshade. All right, I'm going to delete the history on this stuff, so edit, delete by type, history. I'm going to select my lampshade, give it a name over here in the channel box. Let's call it exactly that, lampshade. Let's go ahead and do a save. And let's call this lampshade underscore one underscore modeling. This is the modeling stage, stage one, save. Okay, let's create the lamp post. I'm just going to use a polygon cube. I'm keeping all this geometry really simple just to make this tutorial go a little bit faster. And the, the main part of this tutorial is really the lighting. After we did our, uh, put the neon lighting tutorial, we realized we didn't really have much in the way of lighting tutorials. So we wanted to create something really nice, something a little more than basic. I'm going to create another polygon cube here for the lamp post. Let's 
Let's go to a side view and kind of line that up with the bottom right there. Good enough. All right, so there's our lamp. Not bad. I think that's okay. Let's give everything a name. I'm going to call this lamp post. Call this lamp base. Let's uh, move on. We've got this stuff named. Let's create our picture frame that we're going to be using. So I'm going to create a... Okay, for, before we do that, let's look at our subfolders. So I'm going to go back to my desktop, open up our project folder, open up the source images subfolder. And let's look at this picture. Properties, details. If we look in here, you'll see that it is 640 by 480. Since we're not using a square image, we want to make our geometry exactly the same size as our picture. That way, when we do a texture map, we don't have to worry about um, anything being stretched or anything. It will just it will come out perfect. Kind of hard to explain, but hopefully, when we do it, you'll understand. All right, so dimensions are 640 by 480. So let's create something 640 by 480. I'm going to create a polygon plane. Let's move that so we can see it. Over in your channel box, uh, the input nodes. The height, let's put, uh, let's put 6.4, 4.8. So it's basically 640 by 480, the same, res uh, the same ratio. It's a little bit big, so let's scale this down a little bit. Maybe something like that. I'm going to go ahead and give it a name, and we'll call this picture. Let's create that picture frame. I'll create a polygon cube. Let's go to a top view. I'm just going to pull that cube and just center it up with our picture. All right, there we go. I'm going to select this top face. Let's just do an extrude. It's polygon extrude. Over here in the channel box under the extrude and the input nodes, scroll down until you see offset. And let's just start changing that value. I'm just going to click on the word offset, and now I can middle mouse drag to change that value in real time. So let's do something about like that. I'm going to do another extrude. I'm going to select this bottom face and just lift it up so our picture frame is not so thick. All right. In object mode, edit mesh, bevel. Actually, I'm just going to leave it like that. Just add a little bit more character to it so it's not too dull looking. I'm going to scale our picture up just so it's going inside of our picture frame. I'm going to duplicate this. So control D. I'm going to raise it up a little bit. And I'm going to name this glass. So that's our picture, the kind of the glass cover on our picture frame. All right, what else do we need to do? Let's uh, create our walls. So I'm going to create a big cube. Face select mode. I'm just going to delete all the faces except those two. Hit the delete button. You should end up with something like that. I'm going to raise the floor up to the bottom of our nightstand. And let's bring the back wall closer to our table so it looks like our table's up against the wall. Maybe a little gap in the back. All right, and actually, we don't even need a floor on this. We're not going to be rendering it out, so let's just get rid of what we we don't need. All right, that, let's go ahead and get a name. Our wall selected, channel box, I'm going to name it wall. You can also name all this stuff in the outliner. So over here on the left, there is a little button over here. It says perspective slash outliner. If I click on that, we'll see our outliner. And we can see all the objects we've created. And it looks like everything's got a name except this P cube one. So let's click on it and see what it is. That's our picture frame, so let's double click. And now we can rename this to picture frame. And I'm going to rename this to picture glass. All right. So we got our table, our lamp, our picture, and our wall. Now let's just do some grouping. I'm going to select everything for the table. So all I did was just selected one, hold the shift button down, and select these. Control G to group it. Now I'm going to double click on the group name over here in the outliner and rename it to grp underscore table. So there's our table. You can also control hold the control button down and just click to select them all. Control G, double click. This is going to be grp underscore lamp. 
and let's select all the ones for our picture. Oops, control G, double click GRP underscore picture. So now there's our lamp, our table, our lamp, and our picture. And then of course we got our wall which doesn't need to be in a group. All right, let's do another save. And that will conclude this uh, video. And I'll see you in part two and we'll get started on the UV mapping. Thanks for watching.